Yo, what's good guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we're reacting to the deadliest being on the planet, the bacterial fake. Hope I pronounced that right. Yeah, you know, dangerous stuff, man. Uh, but yeah, if you knew you would to like and subscribe and recommend me more videos to react to in the link in the description. And yeah, let's watch. A war has been raging for billions of years, killing trillions every single day, while we don't even notice. That's a good thing. The war is fought by the single deadliest entity on our planet, the bacteriophage, or phage for short. I pronounced it right. Oh, this is an old video, you can tell. A phage in the intro. is a virus, not quite alive, not quite dead. Also, they look as if someone made them up. Zombies. Their head is an icosahedron, a sort of dice with 20 faces and 30 edges. A diamond. It contains the genetic material of the virus and often sits on a long tail that has leg-like fibers. There are more phages on Earth than every other organism combined, including bacteria. Oh. And they are probably everywhere living things exist. Billions are on your hands, in your intestines, and your eyelids right now. Oh. Which might make you nervous since phages are responsible for the majority of deaths on Earth. But you're lucky. While they do commit genocide for breakfast, they only kill bacteria. Ooh. Up to 40% of all bacteria in the oceans are killed by them every single day. That's a good thing, right? But phages also have major flaws. Like any other virus, phages need a host to survive and reproduce. They're not much more than genetic material in a hull, and they specialize. Usually, a phage has chosen one specific bacteria and maybe some of its very close relatives. These are its prey. Imagine a phage as like a cruise missile that only hunts and kills members of one very unlucky family. When a phage finds its victim, it connects its tail fibers with receptors and uses a sort of syringe to puncture the surface. In a weird motion, the phage squeezes its tail and injects oh, its genetic it's like information. It's oh. Within minutes, the bacteria is taken over. It's now forced to manufacture all the parts of new phages. They only stop when the bacteria is filled up with brand new phages. Okay. In the final step, they produce endolysin, a powerful enzyme that punches a hole in the bacteria. The pressure is so high that the bacteria sort of vomits out all of its insides and dies. New phages are released and begin the cycle anew. Oh, that's not good. In the last few years, bacteriophages have enjoyed the attention of the second deadliest beings on Earth, humans. Recently, we've started looking into injecting millions of them into our bodies because we're sort of getting desperate. We screwed up. In the past, a single cut or a sip from the wrong puddle could kill you. Bacteria were our phages, tiny monsters that hunted us mercilessly. But then, about 100 years ago, we found a solution in nature. So By accident, we found fungi that produced a compound that killed bacteria, antibiotics. Suddenly, we had a powerful super weapon. Antibiotics were so effective that we stopped thinking of bacteria as monsters. Only the old and weakest among us were killed by them. Uh oh. We used antibiotics more and more for even, less and less serious causes. I don't even eat those. We lost respect for the monsters and the weapon. But bacteria are living things that evolve, and one by one, they started to become immune against our weapons. This continued until we had created what are called superbugs, bacteria immune to almost everything we have. This immunity is spreading across the world as we speak. By 2050, superbugs could kill more humans a year than cancer. What? I've Days never seen it. A cut or bladder infection or a cough could kill you or your loved ones are coming back. In the U.S. alone, more than 23,000 people die from resistant bacteria each year. Yo, stop this, man. But it turns out that phages, our tiny killer virus robots, could save us. We can inject them into our bodies to help cure infections. What if they Hold kill on. other good How stuff? How could injecting millions of viruses into an infection be a good idea? Phages are very, very specialized killers of bacteria. So specialized, in fact, that humans are completely immune to them. Oh, we are too beautiful. different. 
We encounter billions of phages every day, and we just politely ignore each other. Beautiful. Antibiotics nice are like carpet bombing, killing everything, even the good bacteria in our intestines that we don't want to harm. Phages are like guided missiles that only attack what they're supposed to. Wait a minute. If we use phages to kill bacteria, won't bacteria develop ways of defending themselves? Well, it's more complex than that. Phages evolve too. There has been an arms race between them and oh, bacteria for billions of like years. It's like a little war. So That's far, cute. They're doing great. This makes phages smart weapons that are constantly getting better at killing. Let me guess. There's a but twist. Even though. if bacteria were to become immune against our phage, we still might be able to win. It turns out that in order to become resistant to even just a few species of phages, bacteria have to give up their resistance to antibiotics. We might be able to trap them in a catch-22. This has already been successfully tested with a patient who had no other hope left. Hmm. The bacteria Pseudomonas aeruginosa, one of the most feared bacteria, infected the man's chest cavity. They are naturally resistant to most antibiotics, and can even survive in alcoholic hand Let's gel. See. After years of suffering, a few thousand phages were directly inserted into his chest cavity, together with antibiotics the bacteria were immune to. After a few weeks, the infections had completely disappeared. Ah, good for you. Unfortunately, this treatment is still experimental, and pharma companies are still reluctant to invest the necessary billions in a treatment that has no I official will. approval I'll yet. I'll probably do that. But things are finally changing. In 2016, the largest phage clinical trial to date began, and phages are getting more and more attention. Um, and we is there a twist? To it because the era in which antibiotics have been our super weapon is drawing to a close. I don't even take them. It might be a weird concept, but injecting the deadliest being on planet Earth directly into our bodies could save millions of lives. It doesn't make it that deadly if it can't kill this me. If it can't kill me, it's not that deadly, honestly. Then it's it's set. Uh, phage is not that bad. I thought it would be killing us, but if it can't kill us, then we're still number one predator. Man, I love being a human. Humans are so beautiful. Well, yeah, if you made it this far, thank you and have a nice day.